Yeah. You need to solve this problem. This mathematical problem. Oh, right? In the face. Yeah, you need okay, to solve. Right. As soon as you solve it, you got an answer, you should raise it up. Right? Ready yeah. now? We're gonna mine Okay, this hold on, let me let me stop the timer. Okay. Wait. Yeah, okay. Solve Go! Solve. Go! Okay. And then... What? What? So you oh, guys have money, right? Your transactions are in one block. And now they're competing to see who gets to say that these were the actual transactions. I did. You got it. Ooh. Okay. So at 20 seconds. What's your answer? 10. No. Wrong. Wrong? Wrong. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can't use the computer. It's a computer problem. You got it? What did you get? Yes. Oh, she got it. At 53 seconds. Okay, all right. Daisy got it. Everybody, settle down. Settle down. And that's literally what the miners have to do. They have to keep guessing, right? They have to keep guessing at one of these numbers. They know that they know that the sum is zero, and they have to keep guessing at a bunch of numbers until they find one of the And when they find that number, so as time goes on, right? Your computer can keep guessing and guessing and guessing and guessing. And as time goes on, one person is bound to find the right answer, right? And they're literally just guessing random numbers until this sum comes out to zero. Right? So stupid. Yeah. Right? So stupid. But what did it do? It meant that she got it wrong first, right? And everybody else was like, no, that's not right. Exactly. Right? That's not zero. Like, it's easy to tell whether something is zero or not. No. Right? So I just looked at it and I said, that's not zero. So obviously, no. Right? And you can all tell. And so oh. until someone actually got it I right, still don't get it. Boom. So the video was... <laughs> no, because I'm doing something. So here you go. You get two bitcoins just for doing it. Yeah. 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 So what's your one guess? Sorry? Yeah. I got 10. So her... Well, so, you know, she, I didn't have them guess. I just had them do the sum. Okay. Okay. Because it was easy. Otherwise, I'm just the sum. Just the sum. Just the sum. Can we all... Can we all listen to Stefan, please? Right. No cross-talking. It's zero, right? I just had him do the sign. It's a stupid mathematical problem, right? It's gonna be zero, right? I was doing my math. I just had him do the sign. Literally, like the, the actual complexity of the math problem, you know, gets very gets very technical, right? But the, the underlying gist is this: they're just randomly guessing until they get zero, right? And once they do that, it's very easy for everyone to say, "Yeah, you got zero. Okay, you get two bitcoins, right? And you get to put in your block. So you're gonna take the block." Right, and the block is this. And so, what was your name? Melissa. Melissa. Okay. So Melissa gave one Bitcoin to what's your name? Henry. Henry. Okay. So Melissa <laughs> sent one Bitcoin to Henry. Right. That's the first transaction. And then let's say you. What's your name? Yes. 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 Uh, yes. With an I. Edith yeah. sent one Bitcoin to Joanne. Right? That's literally the way we call it a block. It's because, you know, it's two lines, right? And then we're going to add a bunch of data to it by saying, okay, it's two lines, yes, and this is the identity of you, and this is the identity of you, so a bunch of information. And then we close that and we call it a block. Can you, can you and show now me? Now verify that block, right? Okay. So, can you verify this? Can you say that this is correct, right? If Melissa, how many bitcoins did you have before you gave uh, four. And four, right? So, what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, she had four, she gave one, and now she has three, right? She had four, she gave one to him, now she has three, right? You're verifying the transaction. Right? And you're going to do that for every transaction that happens. And so she's basically doing what the bank does. 
she's saying, hey, I, you know, K spent $20 on Amazon, now K has minus $20, right? She had whatever she had before, minus $20 in her bank account. Yeah. She's verifying those transactions, right? For everybody. And for all those transactions, that happened in, in this one instant of time, for this block, right? And now we all know, okay, now you only have three, right? And so next time you want to transact with someone else, the next block, he's going to take, whoever else is going to verify this, is going to take that three, right? And they're going to check that you don't say that you have four, right? If you're going to say, she's going to say, you're going to spend another dollar, another Bitcoin with him, she's going to just take that three and says, okay, you, I know you had three, because that block was verified. I know you had three, and now you spent another Bitcoin again, and now you have two. Right. So and so that's why it's a chain of blocks, right? So it's a block, and now every transaction, we chain the blocks. We say, okay, one transaction, verified, boom. Okay, now the next time you want to spend, you get included into the next block, but I already have what you have. It's verified, right? And so that information is public. Everyone knows that you only have three, right? <laughs> and you can spend again, go ahead. And Matt, this is where this gets confusing. And I know it's done somehow because this obviously works, right? These miners, right? In a matter of milliseconds, we just did about 20 transactions right here. Because mm -hmm. I now have four because Latoya traded with Kai, Kai traded back with Latoya, Latoya traded with Henry, Henry traded with me. How the heck do they have a job? What are they doing right now? How do they still have a brain and no headaches or anything like that? Because you just took, like, you, you, we got all of that. Right. But we just did like 20 transactions right here. So, so the reason for the block is you, you don't want to include 100,000 transactions, right? You only want a little bit amount that you can, that one person can do in a specific amount of time, right? And so we're, let's say we're only gonna include 20 transactions. Right? And they can go through 20 transactions and verify it. Right? And then, then we cut it off, we verify that block, we put it in the chain, and then every other transaction after that 20, the next 20 transactions go into the next block. Oh, the right? And so instead of having one long ledger with all of the world's transactions at all times, we're splitting up into small little chunks called blocks. And we're chaining them into what's called a blockchain. Right? And if that block is correct, if everybody has consensus that you had three, right? You went from four and now you have three. If everyone's agreeing on that, we have consensus, then the next block can be added to it and we can do the math again, right? Based on your three. Now if you spend it again, you have two. Now if you spend it again, you one, you have three again, right? And so what's important is that that previous block can never be changed. And why can it be changed is because the, this ledger, this distributed ledger, isn't just in one computer. It's in all of your computers. Okay. And so, if you want to try to change the information in that block, you have to go around to everybody and ask, and they're going to tell you that's, that's wrong, that's not what I have. Right? Okay. And so it's a distributed ledger with consensus, which means that everybody has the same ledger. Right? That's where it gets complicated. So it's, it's just like keeping a checkbook. Keeping a checkbook, exactly. It, and the only reason we can do this is because of computers, right? If right. we were doing this manually, no, okay. forget about it, right? It's just yeah. way too much information at all times. But because computers can do this extremely quickly, right? We don't have that problem, right? So they all have jobs still because there's a lot of transactions going on. And they're getting Bitcoins, right? You just got two Bitcoins, so what happens now? You, sorry. You got two Bitcoins for your job, right? Of validating this transaction. What happens now? You've got two Bitcoins that you can spend with somebody else. And she gets a Bitcoin for each block that's solved, that comes to each block that's to each zero. Each block that she validates correctly, right? So they're all competing. And she gets a Bitcoin for every block that she validates, mm -hmm. right? But there's, it's random. Because it's random, everybody's got the same chance of actually getting no, some money. Yeah. Right? It's, just, it's not going to be always hard, right? You don't want it to be always hard because you can't trust her with not running away with all the money. Right. right. So we wanted some sometimes to be her and right. sometimes to be her. And sometimes to be her. And that way it's, you know, because it's very fast, there's no time for her to actually run away. Right? No. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Okay. 
My issue is that I am very mathematic. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I have a bachelor in architecture, so for me, I see numbers and I know, okay, minus one, blah, blah, blah. So this is exactly what I did. So I did five minus three is two, plus two is four, minus one, it is whatever number, whatever number. Right. And at the end, it gave me 10. And then I did it again, like, Slashing the minus five with the plus five, mm -hmm. with zero, whatever, whatever. I got a different number. Then I did a repeat different <laughs> number, and I got a different number. So can you so tell me what is wrong? So uh, can, you, uh, can you take you through the math problem? Okay, we'll take you through the math. We can we can this take a look at the math problem okay. later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just need to. Yeah. Know. I just need to understand it. Well, if because you're doing that problem wrong person. every time, then yeah, something is wrong with your head. Every time there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to understand why, why it has to be zero, why it has to be one, why it has to be one. Because zero is easy for everyone who can look at it and say, oh, it's zero. It's obvious, right? I mean, it could be five, it could be three, yeah. but it doesn't matter. The, the, so the it doesn't matter which number. It doesn't matter which number. It just matters if the rule is. I set the rule up, I'm Satoshi Nakamoto, and I said, you know, it has to be such So, it That's doesn't matter right. to resolve the issue. I would say, yo, I got it, it's zero. Without me looking at them? Or? Yeah, but you didn't know, right, when I gave it to you. So, the oh. actual problem that the, that the computer is solving is it's actually guessing. It has to oh. guess a oh. bunch of numbers. So, you right. just guess so you're you're guessing. in the math and math. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we can we listen to the question, please? Sorry, Lucy. Can you repeat the question? Can you repeat the question for this side of the class to hear? Okay. If we are the minors, and I stated that in my understanding and knowledge that he gave out one big bag with eight mini ones in each. Not one, there are three bags on the plane we know right now open with eight mini bags in each, and I thought that was that's what he meant by figuring out what the money one. But answering her question as to how we still have a job is because we know the schematics or the what the what you're playing people? No, so what 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 your job with minors is is to validate what we call validating the transaction. We mean we mean writing down that if she gave a Bitcoin to him, she now has one less Bitcoin, right? And so it's just keeping track of the account. Yeah, That's okay. all you're doing. Right? We, know, we know how much money is in circulation because the ledger, remember, the ledger is public, right? We know how many Bitcoins there are, right? And every time you mine, we're creating two new Bitcoins out of thin We're printing two new Bitcoins out of Gary, right? And so Bitcoin is a deflationary Currency, right? And you think if every time something is, is every, every time a miner gets two bitcoins out of nowhere, we're printing new money all the time, and so the value of money should go down, right? But we know that there's going to be a total of bitcoins, and so um, the way it was set up is that right now you get two for every uh, when bitcoin was first started, you would get ten for every transaction that she does, every block that she does. A little bit later on, a couple of years later on, she got five for every transaction, every block that she validated. And now it's up to two, and in a couple of years, it's going to be only one. And in a couple of years after that, it's going to be half a Bitcoin. In a couple of years after that, it's going to be. So the amount of money that the miners receive for validating blocks is decreasing. Which means that at some point, they're, they're not going to get any more money out of it. Right? Which means that at some point, you're going to have to start charging a fee. Okay. Right? Just like the banks do. They give you a, 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 an account fee. Right? Every month you have to pay like $10 for them to keep track of the money. Yeah. Right? So, um, right now it's a lot cheaper because we're creating money. And at some point in the future, there's going to have to be a fee for you. Any questions left on the blockchain? No, that was just getting this zero down. a zero balance down the block, right? So I was just thinking like how this, these funds, I'm thinking business-wise, like 
this person transferred money to this person's account, and then this person transferred it to my account, and I transferred it to this account. I'm like, that's just too much transferring, and they got to get zero every couple of milliseconds. Well, so, it's just math, right? Like math on a computer, that's what computers are. That's the only thing computers can do, is math. But a person has to catch these zeros at the end of each block. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, how, how you got to, I mean, well, there's some math wizards so and some computer wizards out there that can do this. Right, right. In okay, I get, your, I get your question. Your question is, how do they do it that quickly? These people are not actually people. I, They're just computers. Oh my God. So who, who, who gave this to Bitcoin? How do I get those Bitcoins? You, so you can literally go <laughs> and download Bitcoin, the miner, yeah. and put it up on your computer. Right? That's the game. So it's open, right? Everybody, anybody can. I, 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 I don't want to get paid. Like so it's different. an open source, right? The yeah, term that we we yeah. discuss, right? Yeah, so that's a source code. You can download it on your computer. Right, and then you can start mining. You're letting your computer do the work, yeah. and so if your computer successfully finish mining and get the correct answer, yeah. you can then, as being an owner, get the money as a result of that. And I'm so sorry about this. If I had, if K had, it's not my fault. It's K's fault. If K had, <laughs> if K had invited me to come talk to you in 2009, we would all be billionaires. Right. Literally, yes. Blame it on me. That's what it was created about. Just kind of like, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it.